Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to see the difference between classic AutoSAR and adaptive AutoSAR. Before start this difference, first we have to understand why AutoSAR is important. In traditional software development for automotive applications was completed in isolation by OEMs or their suppliers. This lead to a lot of duplicated effort among us players in the automotive sector and a lack of commercial flexibility especially when updating either hardware or software. The AutoSAR looks to address those deficiencies by providing a clearly defined layer of abstraction between the hardware providing a common software foundation irrespective of the chosen microcontroller. In the traditional method application software is tightly coupled with the hardware. So here software is highly hardware dependent and when we want to do the changes in the application software it will take a larger effort. But with the help of AutoSAR application software is independent from the hardware. So it simplified the development process and the reuse of the application software can be possible between the ECUs which is connected in the same network. If you want to understand more about AutoSAR basics, I have mentioned my AutoSAR basics video in the description. Please watch it. The AutoSAR standard defines variations of the software architecture called AutoSAR platform. There are two platform. One is classic platform. Second one is adaptive platform. Before I understand more about classic and adaptive AutoSAR, we have to understand some keywords. It would be useful for you to understand the further videos BSW base software RTE runtime environment M call microcontroller abstraction layer SWC software component TDD complex device driver VFB virtual functional bus SOA service oriented architecture ARA AutoSAR runtime adaptive environment first we can see what is classic AutoSAR the classic platform addresses requirements of deeply embedded electronic control unit meaning ECU that control electrical output signals based on input signal and information from other ECUs connected to a vehicle network. Typically, you design and implement the control software for a specific type of vehicle which does not change during the lifetime of the vehicle. So there is no dynamic update is possible in classic platform. The classic platform uses a virtual functional bus. It's called as VFB to support hardware independent development and usage of AutoSAR application software. In classic AutoSAR, there is a three layers. One is application layer. Second one is RTE. Third one is the basic software layer. In basic software layer, we have a three layers. System services, meaning service layer. ECU abstraction layer microcontroller abstraction layer so base software will be connected with the hardware now we can see about the adaptive autosar the autosar adaptive platform implements the autosar runtime for adaptive applications it's called as ara autosar runtime for adaptive applications Two types of interfaces are available in the adaptive AutoSAR. One is called as services, adaptive platform services and second one is called as APIs. You can see multiple APIs are here. And the adaptive platform is a distributed computing and service oriented architecture. Service oriented architecture means SOA. The platform provides high performance computing, message based communication mechanism and flexible software configuration for supporting applications such as automated driving and infotainment system. The AutoSAR adaptive platform is a future proof basis for automotive ECUs. A key advantage of a new standard is the ability to develop ECU applications independently of one another in distributed work groups. Mainly adaptive AutoSAR is developed for highly computed platform applications. Now we can take some analysis to understand why adaptive AutoSAR platform is needed. First, we can take an example of advanced driver assistance system. It's based on set of sensors like LIDAR, radar, radar, and high resolution cameras. So the data collected from these sensor need to be processed to create a model of the environment outside of the vehicle. Based on this environmental model, ADAS assist the driver during braking, parking, or even driving as in case of autonomous driving. 
to achieve such a fast communication in vehicle bus system like can lin flex ray it's not enough so here we need a ethernet ethernet takes precedence here and by modern protocols and it designed by modern protocols like some ip and we can take another case like vehicle architecture so vehicle to x communication meaning vehicle to vehicle communication or vehicle to everything in this communication actually we need the more adaptive platform this new concept is actually called as a domain controller architecture and we can take one more example like firmware over the update photo so classic autos are is capable of providing photo services but it's not best suited for it so in that case we need some flexible environment and flexible architecture that's what we are introduce the adaptive autos are we can take one more example as well in electric vehicle the communication between the charging station and the vehicle is also unique and must be secure for building purpose so a strong commuting power is a must here too and classic autos are platform is simply not designed for such a computation requirements now we can see the difference between existing model and classic platform and adaptive platform you can see here in existing system we have application model ecu device autos communication other services and peripherals but in classic autos or system it is defined as in application layer we used to create a software component and rt is the responsible to make a communication between application software component to base software os com all these services will be available in the base software but the same will be placed in the adaptive autos or system as like with the help of ara and the same way we have a software component and sensor software component and actuator software component and we have a services and apis in the base software side this is the way the complete existing model will be distributed as a classic autos or platform or adaptive autos or platform now we can see the real difference between classic and adaptive so the first we have to see the use case so classic is mainly developed and designed use case for embedded system applications but adaptive is mainly designed for to do the high performance computing because we can say here internet of things machine learning related applications for vehicles we can use adaptive platform as we discussed mainly adas relevant and operating system perspective classic we are using os ek standard os ek standard operating system but in adaptive adaptive we are using posix programming language perspective classic since it is supported for embedded applications industry is preferring a c language but adaptive industry is using c++ according to the communication perspective classic autos are mainly for a statically configured and is signal based communication example we can use can flex ray kind of protocols but in adaptive it is completely dynamically configured service oriented communication and even based communication so there we can use the some ip protocol code execution perspective in classic autos are execution of code directly from rom but in adaptive application is loaded from persistent memory into ram when we are thinking about the dynamic updating in classic as we discussed it's not possible or not available in adaptive runtime configuration change is possible in the application interface in classic we'll get a support from rte but the same in adaptive use ara real time requirements is like classic is a hard hard time requirements and adaptive is a soft time requirements take away from this video is classic platform will be used for engine control braking system airbag control unit etc adaptive platform will be used for over the air update sensor fusion data processing dynamic choosing of application packages over run time of vehicle everything so if you are new to the autos are first you can learn classic platform meaning classic autos are once you are stabilized with the classic autos are then you can start to think about the adaptive autos are thank you for watching this video if you have if you like it please share it to your friends if you want to stay with us Please subscribe our channel. Have a nice day.